U.S. still naked to an EMP threat. Electromagnetic, uh, 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 call it an explosion, so to speak. But what this effect is, and let me read what's inside the article. New emergency plan doesn't address alarming scenario and disaster response. So this is coming from our interior government looking at things happening, saying, we've done and made a lot of preparations for a lot of different events. But the EMP, which is this electromagnetic field that would be broken in the uh, uh, stratosphere, so to speak, we, we see ourselves saying, okay, what do we do with this? And let me give you a little more insight into this. It says, electricity grids down, uncontrolled fires from exploding gas transport systems, no communication to call for help, no water to battle fires. It's all part of a catastrophic scenario some scientists predict could happen under an electromagnetic pulse attack. Now, what is an electromagnetic pulse attack? Now, we've talked about this on the previous program, but again, the point we're making here that this is a very real thing that could happen, and what it means is that they would take a war, a bomb of some type, maybe nuclear in nature, and detonate it some 25 to 250 miles above the atmosphere, or in the atmosphere, above America. And if they did that, the electromagnetic forces that allow computer and communications and electronics to flow through the airwaves would be so dramatically interrupted they could no longer work. Now, we talk about fear. I mean, how many of you on your cell phones, when you just take it for granted, you pick up the phone, you do what you do, dial a number, and now you automatically expect to be connected you automatically expect to speak to another person. Well, this electromagnetic pulse would disturb the airwaves in such a degree that it could no longer broadcast. Your, your communication, your electronic signals that would go out via computer by some of these other techniques would all be disturbed. And this would be a tremendous tragedy, a catastrophe in America, because we're so involved in this technology to carry, communicate, pass information, use in hospitals, use wherever, but we continue to become more dependent on it every day. It goes on the article and it says, when WorldNet Daily contacted the Department of Homeland Security, a representative explained why a course of action was not included into the National Emergency Communication Plan, a strategy that relies heavily on the ability of authorities at all levels of government to communicate using radios, computers, and other electronic devices that could be disabled by an EMP attack. However, Congress has expressed concern regarding that threat for EMP. A top scientist warned the House of Armed Services Committee in July that America remains vulnerable to a catastrophe from a nuclear electromagnetic pulse attack that could be launched with plausible deniability by host rogue nations. Now, who would that host rogue nation be? In Iran. The Iranians are in the forefront of our field of enemies in the development of nuclear weapons. Would they use them? Most of us think certainly they will. Will we do anything about it? We probably are. When is it going to happen? We don't know. But that's one step in the progression of trying to make our country more secure and where we're at. So uh, all we're trying to say with all this is that there's so many different things that we have come up with. We, how much simpler life was back 100 years ago, 200 years ago. Today, there's, there's so many things that they have to be concerned with, and we're, we're becoming restricted in being able to combat them in all these different levels. And as much as we may think we have plans in place, how much of these would really be plans that will work? A time to put your faith in the Lord? We have really need to get down on our knees and pray that the Lord would just hear us and do the things that we're looking for in our own lives, that security of having Christ direct our paths.